Hi everybody, it's Carolyn Murphy and I'm live. You know, I was debating on whether to come on or not and that's like, oh, I don't know what's going on. But anyway, today is my sister's birthday. I'm just getting rid of something. And um, she passed away, another little memo here. Hi, Elizabeth. And uh, so I'm really missing her. So I was kind of down about that. But then I thought, well, you know, I didn't go on yesterday because of my work schedule. So I thought I'd come on and say hi. So I'm just kind of blah, but I do want to share with you some news from um, just how I'm feeling and everything using uh, Isogenics. Mm. I did almost the full 30-day burpee challenge. Please say hi when you come on. But I missed, I did the burpees for the 31st, and I did the squats, but I didn't do the push-ups or the planks. So I made it to 30 days anyway. Um, so I'm feeling pretty good on, um, using Isogenics and I'm maintaining my weight. So that's good. And it's exciting. So I also wanted to share with you, um, just some different information like, um, today or April's kudos for Unique. So you get your choice of Addiction Shadow Palette. One through six, we came out with a new shadow palette and it looks lovely. So I'm probably going to get the new shadow palette. So your, your choice of addiction shadow palettes, one through six. And they'll show you the colors on the website. Your choice of black, brown, or black waterproof mascara. So that is something. And your choice of color of Splash Liquid Lipstick. Now, the Splash is really good. It stays on. Um, you, you try to apply a thin coat. You apply a thin coat. And then you um, allow it to dry. And um, if you were just to add eye primer, you would then get free shipping on your kudos. So... You know, just comment kudos below if you're interested, and I'll send you some information. So, because the eye primer really works well with the Addiction Shadow Palette. So, in any case, your choice of the mascaras that we have. We have black, brown, and brown, uh, yeah, black and brown regular, and black waterproof. Your choice of Addiction Shadow Palettes, and we did have a new shadow palette come out, number six, and it's really gorgeous, really gorgeous. So I'll, I did post that in my story today, so you'll you'll see the new palette in my story. Hi, Shannon! So I just wanted to use the kudos today just to, to do a... Um, Eye and lip and mascara, but I already have the black waterproof mascara on. I did that this morning because I did my three go-tos, brows, lashes, and lips. So um, I already used the mascara. So it's just the eyes and the lips. How are you doing, Shannon? Good to see you. Anyway, so I just need to decide which palette to use, two, one. One is closest to six because they have a lot of browns, or six has like three, three browns in it. This is three. Three, or three is four. Let's try that. That's got some browns and blues in it too. You're good? Oh, that's good. I'll just go with one. Yeah. 
So one thing about the Addiction Shadow Palettes, if um, for and for instance, um, Chipper, hi Michelle. Chipper would be good for your eyebrows if you have my tone of hair anyway, or lighter. Chipper would be good. And you could use some of the eye primer on. Hi, how are you? Your eyebrows to keep that on and apply chipper as if you were applying, how are you, Michelle? The eyeshadow palette. So I was just going over the April Kudos. You get your choice of Addiction Shadow Palette. And we came out with a new gorgeous one, palette number six. You get your choice of a splash liquid lipstick in the color that you choose. And you get your choice of mascara. There's black waterproof, black, and brown. So, anyway, I'm just going to do my eyes with the um, kudos. To, just do the kudos today. I already did my brows with a brow obsession palette. But I could have used chipper. But I didn't think of that, so I could have taken the brows off just to show you. So I'm going to apply a little bit of eye primer to my lids. That will make the color that I use on my lids pop. That will be good. And I just realized I did start using another pressed shadow palette and forgot to get it off. So um, be right back. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. I'm going to get a cleansing cloth to get that off. And one thing, the cleansing cloth won't... Um, your... Oh, you are! Oh! Oh! Give him a hug for me. So I'm just going to use our cleansing cloth to get the um, eyeshadow off. And we'll start fresh with new, okay? And because I used the waterproof mascara, it's not going to affect the um, mascara at all. So, but I'm just going to try and just go below the brows and above the lashes. <laughs> there we go. You see, they are really good. I forgot, and I decided not to do the rest of the eyes. I just used one color. So, ah, he's adorable. How's um? So I'm just trying to get it off. There we go. I got a plastic bag here. I'll put it in here. And seal that plastic bag. Maybe I'll be able to use it later. Okay. So I did that, and I'm just going to dry with a paper towel here. Okay, we'll start again. We're going to put the eye primer on the lid. Actually, you can do it all over. And what I like to do is just use the translucent powder to set the part in the crease so it makes it more blendable. Oh, I bet. Now you got two. So I dab on my eyes because I just don't want to rub or pull them. Sometimes you can't help it, but. So we're going to go up here, go right below the eyebrow. Forgot to get up here. There we go. So I will set that with a translucent powder just in the lid. So get one of these brushes here and use the translucent setting powder. Yeah, I bet. Oh. <laughs> 
So it's loose powder, so you want to tap off any excess and just get it up under the crease and right below the eyebrow. I'm avoiding the lid just to make the color pop. So, okay, here we go. So, let's see, we'll go in with the deluxe. I have one of my lights out, so it may seem darker. <laughs> Um, because I have a light out above me, so. Let's see. I'm going to go with Chipper as a transition color. So these are highly pigmented. Whoops, yeah. I have to get used to these, so. That's going to require a lot of blending. So when you come on, please say hi. If you do not see this red live button up here, um, you're on hashtag replay. And just say hi. Yesterday I had a busy work schedule, so I wasn't able to come on live, um, Chipper. So I'm glad to be here today. I was debating, though, because I'm just kind of down a little bit. But I figured you should see the good and the bad. <laughs> so, you know, not every day is a good day. <laughs> so. I had a good shift, though. And uh, whenever my clients are happy, I'm happy. So. That one, I hate to do it like that. There we go. I think it's going now. There we go. See how the blending brush blends? And I'm using the eye primer with the... Um, and using the blending brush, how it just blends in. That's the kind of thing I like. So uh, let's see. We'll go with um, the crease brush. So I'm going to go in with... Um, Oh, that was chipper. This is fourth right. Going in a little darker just for a 3D look or dimension. So look at how pigmented that is. And you tap the brush. And I'm just going to do a little triangle thing here. And because I have hooded eyes, I have to come out further. More hooded on this eye, but I have to, I want to match on both eyes, so to come out further there. It's just one tap. So these palettes will last you a while. And palette six looks like it has a lot of the colors I would use, mauves and purples, because I found out that purple looks really good with my eye color too. So, and you just blend. If you want to blend it over, you can. Oh, I like it. Or if you wanted the kudos plus a blending brush, that would be another option because these blending brushes work well too. Now I'm gonna go down on the lower part of the eye with what's left on the brush here. pulling like that. There we go. So now <clears throat> I'm 
I can use brassy. That's like a goldish. So it'll be golden brown. Sincere, we can go like an ombre kind of an eye. Or swanky. I like brassy. Let's go brassy. So I got a cream shadow brush for that and put brassy on the lid. And this is going to be nice because it's going to pop. Wow. Brassy. Do, do, do. Mm -hmm. Let's see if that does anything. Oops, okay. Oh, I like that. See that? Isn't that nice? I like it. And then we go with a highlighter. So I'll use the other side of the brush. I'm going to go with Elated. I think that's a good highlighter. I forgot to tap the brush. and Just go right under the brow here. elated if you're more of a neutral one I would pick palette one because this is like our neutral palette but if you like pinks then you'd you'd like um, palette three or blues palette four or if you like palette six is also good and I can't wait I have to order mine so so that is palette one. Now I already applied the mascara, but there's a great tip with mascara. If you put it inside your, just warm up the tube, whether you hold it like this or rub it or just keep it in your hands for a few minutes or I stick it on, in the bra strap, right on the bra strap there. And that warms it up. I usually do that when I'm doing my brows and my my um, eyes so but anyway that really helps it to go on smoother I could do another coat so we'll do that just for the sake of using number two in the kudos so number one was the addiction shadow palette of your choice so we're going to use the waterproof mascara This will be my second coat, so we'll see how that goes. Okay. There we go. Look at that. That goes on so nice. Now, I only do one coat on the lower part, but we'll see. But you can do the lower part after you do the upper part, and then do it again. And this is the other side. And another option is if you get your you get the your choice if you choose the black waterproof mascara then maybe add a cleansing stick because that gets the black mascara off or the makeup remover whichever one so that's the lashes and the lips you get your choice of splash and this one is i can never read the name sorry let's see Serendipitous. I think this is serendipitous. 
I could be wrong. So when you apply your, sorry, my glasses fell down there. When you apply your Splash Liquid Lipstick, when it comes out, there's always a lot of product on it. So I like to scrape the product off. And this just uh, saves your products because when you push it back down, it pushes the product down. So just keep getting it off. There we go. I'll show you how much product we get off. And this will save you too. Look at that. See how much product there? You would have had to wait about 20 to 25 minutes or more to get um, for the product to dry. So, and you can outline with your lips. Some people use a lip liner. Hi, Dorothy. This is a pretty color. I think it's serendipitous, but I'm not sure. So how are you, Dorothy? I just went over this month's kudos and put them on. I used, excuse me. I used Addiction Shadow Palette 1, but you get your choice of 1 through 6. And I'm excited about the new palette that came out. So I used the Diction Shadow Palette 1, and you get your choice of mascara. I used the Waterproof Black, your mascara, and you get your choice of a Splash Liquid Lipstick. And if you're into nude lipsticks, they did release some nude ones this year, too, that would really be nice. So, this is today's look. Sorry about the lighting. I have one light bulb out up there. I really need to remember to change it. So, hopefully tomorrow the live will be better. I want to thank you for joining me. And if you're interested in the kudos, the April customer kudos, please comment kudos below and I'll send you some information. Take care. Bye. See you tomorrow at 3.